Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update, brought to you by the new Gamma Glide Cross String. More spin, power and comfort, it's the lubricity. Thanks to Brazilian telephone operator Telefonica Vivo, we get a first-hand look at Rafael Nadal long before he was one of the greatest players in history. Check out a snippet of their sentimental ad. In a segment that aired over the weekend, Andre Agassi told Kevin Frazier of CBS how he wooed his wife of 13 years, Steffi Graf. Maybe uh, stalking had something to do with it, you know, <laughs> so I, I was, I uh, had my eyes on her for a while and um, certainly mesmerized by, by her um, way she played and, and obviously a few other things. So, so, I so what, do you, what do you do? <laughs> how do you, how do you approach Steffi Graf? Uh, you, uh, I made her a birthday card on the plane flying over to Wimbledon after I won Paris, you know, out of the plane menu, you know, wrote her a nice little note and figured I'd show her that I remembered her birthday, so I started there. Agassi's former wife, model and actress Brooke Shields, has also been in the news following the release of her new memoir. She claims Agassi destroyed all of his trophies after her guest appearance on Friends required her to lick the finger of actor Matt LeBlanc. Andy Murray finally made an appearance on Strictly Come Dancing to support his mother, Judy, performing a quick dance of his own, as we see from these pics from the BBC. Mrs. Murray is still alive on the UK's version of Dancing with the Stars, and Andy seems to know the reason why, per this interview. Obviously had a lot of people voting for her because I don't think her dancing has been as good as uh, some of the, the, other, the other contestants on there, but she seems to be really enjoying it. You know, I've spoken to her about it a lot, and. That's the most important thing, so long as she's having fun, um, I'm, I'm happy. Serena Williams and Caroline Wozniacki had quite the weekend together. First, they were spotted poolside, hanging with British Formula One drivers Will Stevens and Paul Reese. And what would a tropical locale be without photos of Serena and Caroline in their swimwear? Serena proceeded to announce on Twitter that they would be competing in a sprint triathlon, and she wasn't joking. Reese swam, Wozniacki ran, and Serena biked. They took some photos at the starting line looking pretty excited, but the same could not be said as Williams kicked off her biking leg. Anything you want to say? I'm so, I'm so tired and I'm thirsty. Well, I'm afraid to give you a water right now. I want to push. All right, push it. You're almost home. Finish strong. Serena also joined Sister Venus at the grand opening of the Washington, D.C. area Venus and Serena Williams Area Learning Center. Serena was nearly 40 minutes late, according to reports, but fans were more than happy to delay the ribbon cutting for the world number one. 2014 NCAA doubles champion Hunter Reese hit perhaps the best shot of his career at the Knoxville Challenger on Saturday. Nothing like an around the post shot for the highlight reel. The Czech team swept the Germans over the weekend to claim their third Fed Cup title in four years. Angelique Kerber had a chance to tie things up on day one against Lucy Safarova, but lost in straight sets. Check out her rare hindrance call on set point in the first set. So <laughs> yeah. The World Tour Finals have finally kicked off in London, but before play began, players dressed up in matching suits to take the annual group photo. Afterward, Twitter master Thomas Burditch rallied the troops for a picture-perfect champion selfie. Courtney Nguyen of Sports Illustrated paired it with the now notorious group photo posted by Maria Sharapova during the women's year-end event. Point made. 
Fresh off a of vacation in the Philippines, Maria Sharapova and boyfriend Grigor Dimitrov did some sightseeing in London before and after Sharapova's appearance at a Nike Lab presentation. The two, who have not been photographed together recently, seem to be making up for lost time. That's all for today's Tennis Now News update. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.